ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to ECWF's Wednesday Night Wrestling. We are live broadcasting to you here on Twitch and eventually to be real uploaded onto YouTube as we bring you some hot wrestling action here tonight. We're broadcasting to you live out here in Salisbury, Maryland. And I assure you, it's going to be one hell of a night. But unfortunately, this may be the last night for Wednesday Night Wrestling, but not for ECWF, folks. Stay tuned next week following the, bro the Boardwalk Brawl pay-per-view this coming Sunday as we plan to move Wednesday Night Wrestling over to a Friday Night Fury Hour. Until then, we have several great matches in store in tonight. First up, we have our ECWF Hardcore Championship on the line once again, but this time in a Falls Count Anywhere match between Morrison Culver and the Outlaw BFG. Ladies and gentlemen, these two have had a tumultuous relationship for championship gold, with the Outlaw BFG being the current reigning champion, and I doubt that he is going to lose that championship this early. And while the Boardwalk Brawl is in within a few days away, there's no telling of how far these men are going to go for the Hardcore Championship. monster himself, the monster of Philadelphia, making his way to the ring. Orson Culver has always kept the Hardcore Championship in his sights since day one, trying to go after anyone, no matter who they are, for the Hardcore title. And while he's had one success holding the championship, it didn't take long for him to lose it so easily. And with the likes of the Outlaw BFG keeping a great hold against his opponent. There's no telling whether or not these two will keep at it and who will be a great success following tonight or even the Boardwalk Brawl coming up this Sunday. But I tell you what, folks, it may be hot outside, but when it comes to the Boardwalk Brawl, it's going to be boiling hot over the beach. Summer is just getting started here at ECWF, I assure you that, folks. Speaking of boiling over, here comes the champion right now. He's determined to keep that championship belt, whether in his hands or around his waist. No matter what he does, he manages to keep a hold of that championship belt wherever he goes. But much like any other champion, there's only so much you can go for when it comes to being the champion of ECWF. Especially when it comes to the Hardcore title. But the Outlaw BFG proves himself, and even so much as proves his own namesake as the big effing gun of ECWF and of the Outlaws. Regardless of the situation, there's no telling of whether or not he can redeem, he can cape that championship belt against the monster Morrison Culver. These, go, these two have been butting heads pretty hard and pretty pretty damn rough like Ramston each and every night, but we'll see how far they're willing to go tonight. The Hardcore Championship on the line tonight, and I assure you folks, this is not one to take lightly. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 385. The monster, Morrison Culver! Determined look in his eyes there, folks. 
And introducing the champion from Omaha, Nebraska, weighing in at 275 pounds. He is the Eastern Wrestling Hardcore Champion, the Outlaw Bradford Franklin Graves. The champion looking determined to keep that championship at home for himself. But he's still got a tough competition against the monster, Morrison Colbert. Referee getting this matchup. Just looking at that hardcore title, it signifies the extreme elements that make ECWF one of the craziest wrestling promotions in the East Coast today. But here we go. Matchup getting started now. Oh, no hesitation there from the outlaw. Back and forth between these two. Ooh, big. Elbow kick to the head there. Going off the rope. Oop. No. He's certainly not lining up on all the offense there. And he's certainly not going to oof, not going to give up so easily tonight. And now it seems. Oh no. Morsa Culver back on his feet. Ready to prove himself. Morsa Culver grew up watching several wrestling shows. While most of it was the old fashioned. World Wrestling Federation, and even World Championship Wrestling. His greatest love for wrestling came when he saw several live shows of the original Extreme Championship Wrestling, ECW, in the great state of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And he hoped to be just as hardcore and just as extreme as those wrestlers were back in their day. And he's got a tough competition here in ECW, most notably the Outlaw BFG. It only makes sense that the ooh, that the Philadelphia native would try and recapture and rekindle the same extreme remedies, extreme physicalities that go into extreme championship wrestling from back then. But it seems as though he may not get that chance tonight, especially with a great tough competitor like the Outlaw. The Outlaw now stuck in a corner here. Ooh, double Hits against the shoulders there. Oh, good lord. Morrison, Morrison is not letting up on any dirty tactics. He's had his fair share of brutalities, even taking his aggression up against the referee several weeks ago. And he's determined to... Oh, going for a submission, looks like. He's certainly not letting up on the offense. That's for sure. But neither is the outlaw BFG as he manages to fight out of that submission move there. Definitely a unique move there. Grapple up now. Turn buckle. Oof. Looks like they hit him pretty hard there. We're going to see here. Oof. The strength of the outlaw is damn near... Oof. Damn near insatiable there as he managed to pull up so much offense against the monster Morrison Culver with the ease. But the monster is definitely not letting up so easily tonight. This, keep in mind, folks, this is one of seven matches here tonight on Wednesday Night Wrestling as we hope to really bring out the best in ECWF. The matchup is definitely getting rocky. And Morrison is definitely losing his, his patience there as he's putting on so much offense. But now, the outlaw... Getting a position here. Now he's setting up. Nope, he just throwed his opponent out of the ring there. Just for the greatest of ease, if you ask me. Getting a position now. Where's he going to go for? Oh, my God. Big punch to the head there. And now, oh, go for a submission move outside the ring. Referee in tow here. Keeping a good eye on the, both opponents. But Morrison fights out of that submission. Well enough is... Well enough. Oh, what a devastating lariat there. Going for the pin now, referee. Got in position, a little lost there. One, two, three. And that's it. We have a new hardcore champion. Once again, Morrison Culver has gained the hardcore championship. It took several tries and several maneuvers, but he manages to get up against the Outlaw BFG. Even after that 
signature right there. It didn't just it didn't stop the monster from catching a cat uh, catching a big win against the outlaw BFG. Our cameramen were apparently asleep on the hold there, but here is your winner and new Eastern Wrestling Hardcore Champion, the Monster Morrison Culver. Morrison Culver must be extremely proud of himself, capping a great win for himself tonight for the Hardcore title. A big win not only for himself, but for his team, the Anarchists. The victory is definitely something that he'll cherish tonight, but there's still several other matches to get into. And the question is, for the Boardwalk Brawl, will he be able to keep that championship gold around his waist? But we'll find out. When that time comes, until then, we still have six more matches to get into tonight. We have our women's matchup between Sheena McRae and Evelyn Campbell. These two, despite their signature poses being similar, are practically polar opposites in their own wrestling physique, with Sheena McRae being the giantess and Evelyn Campbell being a rather unique individual whenever stepping inside the squared circle. We're bound to see whether or not these women are willing to go after the women's title in the near future as their fate is determined here to go after the championship in a contenders match to see who may go after the current champion and another contender. But we'll see how well that goes. the giantess herself. There's something about Sheena McRae stepping into the ring. There's that disturbing presence that she she brings with her own physicality. She, as we said before, that she is one of the largest wrestler, one of the largest women wrestlers in ECWF. And while it has been pretty much of a struggle for her to be anything worth to really gain any traction, especially when it comes to championship gold, but she may get a chance as a, for a contender spot in the upcoming boardwalk wall, but she still has to go up against several other contenders, several other wrestlers, including the champion herself. But until then, she has the nightmare to deal with. Looking into Evelyn Campbell is definitely not one to take lightly. The disturbing presence of her own character speaks volumes. She may not be the largest wrestler, she may not be the strongest wrestler, but she is definitely one of the most unique and one of the most disturbing wrestlers in the women's division of ECWF. The self-proclaimed nightmare at times lives up to her reputation. There's no telling what she can do in the ring, who she does it to. And make no mistake, if you're caught in a spider's web, you'd be lucky if you'd be able to fight out of it well enough. Evelyn Campbell is definitely one of the strangest wrestlers here at ECWF, but if she's able to capture a chance for championship gold for the upcoming pay-per-view, there may be a chance for her to become the queen of ECWF, so to speak. But until then, these Scottish natives are not willing to give up here tonight so easily. Not wasting any time, Sheena McRae goes with a big fist and now throwing her opponent in the turnbuckle. What are we going to see here? Hanging up by her legs there. What are we going to see here now? Oh my god. Devastation there. There's no telling how much... Oh. Evelyn Campbell tried to push her away, but the strength of Sheena McRae is unmatched. Uh-oh. Evelyn Campbell now fighting back. Still trying to grapple her, but still can't get a good grip with the Giantess being too strong for her. Once again, 
Oh, got to set up for a corner attack, but now. Good Lord. Oh. Now she's got a good grapple on her. Oh, off the turnbuckle, off the ropes, and out on the outside of the ring there. And Mo Campbell trying to make a proper move there. Her opponent standing up. Uh-oh. You can see here, uh-oh. Could be a power bomb. This could be it. Nope. Oh, my God. Not as bad as a power bomb, but still just as devastating here. Good God. The amount of destruction going outside that ring. The referee still counting down. These two should really get back in the ring before things get any worse. Oh, my God. Beautiful switchblade attack there. Oh, face buster. Now, going for a sharpshooter. Nope. Nope. Figure four way, excuse me. Now she's. Nope. Got back into the ring now. Gina McRae is definitely struggling against this nightmare. It looks like. Uh oh. And she's not done yet. Looks like she's ready to go for a top rope maneuver, but Sheena McRae managed to stand up just in time. This is definitely a oh, David and Goliath matchup here tonight. But the question is, who will become victorious and who will end up... Oh, another obscure white Russian leg move there. There's only so much that these women can... Oh, that's good God Almighty. Uh-oh, going for the submission move here. Locked in tight. There's no telling whether or not Sheena McCray can fight out of this. Very few managed to escape this high kind of hold, but no telling. Nope. She's fighting out of it. Sheena McCray is not giving up so easily tonight. The giantess is not happy about this. Uh-oh. Alabama slam. Good Lord. Going for the pin now. Too soon. Sheena McCray is not happy about that. No telling what may happen. We might see. Uh oh. Here it comes. The choke slam. Oh, there it is. Go for the pin now. What are we going to see? No, it wasn't enough to stop it. It'll take a miracle to stop the, the nightmare so easily. But then again, the giantess herself has had her fair share of wins and losses. But the question is, can the giantess withstand the nightmare well enough tonight? Big arm wrench there. Oh, but Evelyn reverses it. Going for a headlock. Ooh, big hit to the head there. If that fist was any bigger than Sheena's, I'm sure it would have knocked her out cold. But Sheena McRae now, fighting back. Oh! Oh, what a maneuver there. Brady fists upon her head there. She's not careful. She could make her bleed, but I don't know if that's possible here tonight. Oh, my God. Devastating kick there. What a maneuver. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. That's a concussion ready to occur there. Going for it one more time now. It's a mission maneuver. Lock in. Gina McCray could be in dire straits here tonight. Trying to fight out of it. We're telling you to be able to make it out of this. Nope. Evelyn stopped it just there. Now she's going for the pin. And it's enough. Sheena McCray didn't even fight out of the pin. Good Lord Almighty. This is a hell of an upset as the Nightmare claimed a victory and also claimed a chance for a spot for the women's title for the upcoming Boardwalk Brawl. But the question is, who can come out on top? Such devastating moves in that ring there. And even though Sheena McCray did not submit, Evelyn did not spare any time to make the pin against her opponent. This was quite a matchup. Here though. is your winner, the Nightmare, Evelyn. Evelyn Campbell has a rather disturbing presence about her, but manages to 
pick up a great victory against the Giants. Championship goal could be within her reach, but there's still several other wrestlers here in ECWF that are after the same prize. Can the Nightmare really succumb and really become the next champion? Or will she be a, just another <laughs> another win, another check in the lose of Colin? We'll find out very shortly, but until then, we still have several other matches to get into. there but that's not supposed to be the matchup i apologize ladies and gentlemen apparently there is a rather significant issue here just bear with me for just a second this matchup was not meant to happen whatsoever i assure you ladies and gentlemen that was not the matchup that was supposed to occur here tonight it was apparently an clerical error on our part. That's not supposed to happen until later on for the steel cage match for the World Heavyweight Championship. But until then, we have another championship matchup for the ECWF Cruiserweight Championship here in ECWF between Jacob Cass and Snyder Daniels. Snyder Daniels managed to beat Jacob Cass for the championship at the payday high. But there's no telling of whether or not... He'll be able to keep that championship around his waist, or if they may go for another rematch at the upcoming pay-per-view. But Snyder has already got enough competition on his own hand going after the Maniacs for the tag team titles at the Boardwalk Brawl as well. Snyder certainly has no problems filling in for, or rather going in for overtime, holding onto two championship belts on two separate occasions. I don't know many other wrestlers that are able to handle that type of fortitude whatsoever. But until then, we have the Cruiserweight Championship on the line tonight. The following contest is a last man standing match. And is for the Eastern Wrestling Cruiserweight Championship. Here comes the legendary Jacob Cass. The former Cruiserweight champion stepping into the ring with high hopes of retrieving the ECWF Cruiserweight Championship one more time. The former legend of WWE who managed to headline WrestleMania 27 for the WWE, WWE Championship this remarkable man may be able to regain championship glory, but he still has a tough competition against the current champion for the Cruiserweight title here tonight, and possibly at the Boardwalk Brawl. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been told that if Jacob Cass manages to keep, manages to win the championship tonight, he will defend that championship in a battle royale against a few other contenders for the Cruiserweight Championship. But there's no telling whether or not he will be able to keep that or be able to win that championship here tonight. But we'll find out sooner or later. Speaking of championships, here comes Snyder Daniels with the Cruiserweight Championship in tow. They were too about Snyder Daniels, but he certainly knows not to let anything go by him so easily. Holding the previous holder of the Ta World Tag Team Championship and the current holder of the Cruiserweight Championship, he has definitely proven himself to be one of the toughest contenders here in ECWF. But there's no telling whether or not he'll be able to keep that, he'll be able to come home with the championship tonight. Or he may fight against Jacob Cass at the upcoming pay-per-view once more. Oh, excuse me, Emmett. I uh, screwed that up a bit. I apologize. Uh, until then, we have the Cruiserweight Championship on the line tonight. Introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 205 pounds. 
the icon, Jacob. And introducing the champion from Salem, Oregon, weighing in at 240 pounds. He is the Eastern Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, Dangerous Snyder. It's hard to really root for either one, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you, both men put themselves on the line for any matchup, no matter what the cost. Even with championship gold on the line, they certainly do not pull anything back to become the next big thing of ECWF. But we'll see how far they're willing to go to go after the Cruiserweight Championship. Bell is rung and the matches begin. Snyder Daniels is not wasting any time. Oh my god. Going after his opponent, but Jacob Cash fighting back now. Oh, back and forth. A lot of footwork going in between these two opponents. Oh, but Snyder missed that splash by a mile there. Oh, here comes Jacob. Oh, so many misses, so many near falls there. These two are not letting up on the action. These two are definitely going at it head to head. I have not seen great cruiserweight matches since Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. These two, while not uh, Lucha Libre of any caliber or even Japanese style wrestlers, they both have great technical prowess and high flying action in the ring. Jacob Cass now on the offense going up for a springboard. Oh, but he missed that. Oh, looks like a camo plus being applied. Snyder Daniels locked that in pretty well. But Jacob fights out of it. And he fights out. Ready to go after him one more time. Let's see if he's... Uh -oh. Turn buckle. Oh, out of the ring there. What are we going to see here? Oh, going for it. Oh, what an arm attack. Beautiful attack there. Really hitting on the arms now, trying to damage his opponent. Oh, missed that splash that time there. Snyder Daniels now. Oh, what a flip. That's enough to break your back and shoulder blades and then some. Big kick to the chest and abdomen. That's a lot of, that's a lot of assault there right up against the concrete floor there. Even with all that panning, it's not enough to really keep yourself away from any further damage. And the referee is lucky not to get it in the midst of that action. Jacob Cass could have finished that match off outside the ring. In fact, it could have happened in the backstage for all we know. But apparently they want to do this the old-fashioned way and keep it in the ring. Good Lord Almighty. The tumultuous relationship between the two, these two are... Damn near impossible. Three. Jacob Cass getting the fans on his side, and he's certainly showing no. Six. Certainly not holding back on all of his emotions there. Seven. Snyder, on the other hand, he may be out Eight. and about. Nope. He's standing right back up. Big Hurricane Rana. Good Lord. Snyder was lucky not to fall on his fall head first into the to the apron there. Probably could have chipped a tooth if he wasn't careful. But Jacob Cass is definitely riling up the fans, showing that he's still in the ring, still being could, he could very well win that championship early tonight, but nope. Snyder is not giving up so easily. And we'll see here. Oh my god! Right in the back of the head there. That's a concussion if he's not careful. Snyder Daniels is giving him a taste of his own Two, medicine. Three, it's a miracle he's not floating in the ring at the moment. Four, Jacob is in a real world of pain five, there. That attack against the back of his head six, could cause a concussion if he's not careful. So that's what he's left. Nope. But he's getting back up there. Snyder Daniels not letting back. Oh, right up against the apron there. What's Jacob going to go for here? Nope. He's just given a chance to feed off the energy of the crowd now. Proving that he's still number one. The referee's still counting down now. 
Made the pass, celebrating a little too early there. Seven. Seven Daniels. Eight. He could lose this if he's not careful. Nine. Nope, nope, he's still back in this. Outside the ring now, back and forth. So much, oh my God. Seems to be a back and forth situation between these two as they just continuously let up on the offense. These fans may not be able to stand this any much longer. They expected this last man standing match to be a little more tumultuous and a little more aggressive. Not so much a back and forth to see who's going to stand back up. It didn't take long for Jacob to stand back up so easily. Snyder Daniels now. Oh, that's damage. Oh, try to go for an attack there. Missed that by a mile. Now let's, oh my God. Go for it. Now he's giving him a fury of fists up against the head there. There's only so much that these two can go for, but these fans definitely expect to get their money's, their money's worth here tonight in ECWF. Four more to go. Seven. The pass. He's definitely Eight. staring at his. Wait a minute. He's picking his opponent up. What the hell is he going to do here? Wait a minute. Oh my God. Head first into that turnbuckle post. That's enough to really give him a concussion there. The pass now. He could try and finish him, but he's not even bothering to go after. Use one of any of his moves, even outside the ring. Could have been an opportunity to attack him right then and there. Or even use the table for that matter, or any objects. Not sure if there's an issue of pride. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, good lord. Back and forth, Jacob Cass, you have to do something other than that. Two, there has to be more to work with. Three, four, five, six, seven. Got three counting down. Nope. They could try and go after their signatures, but it just seems to be a tussle here. Okay. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to handle this sensibly here. Two, three. There we go. We're not going to let that screw around with us tonight. We're going to play this sensibly. Oh my god. get something going there. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to let this type of back and forth buffoonery going on here. Apparently, let make things engaging and interesting instead of doing the same shit over and over. Oh, good lord. Every time he misses that splash, I can feel his ribs ready to crack at any minute there. I try not to make this so cheap, but at this point, looks like Snyder's ready to go for his finisher there. And there it is! 
could have just stopped right there, but apparently he's too relentless to stop himself. Well, for a submission maneuver, even though he's the last man standing. Snyder Daniels is definitely relentless. Oh, good Lord. The physicality. This could be a big victory for Snyder here. Referee counting down. This could be it for Jacob Cass tonight. Sonny Daniels getting the fans on his side. Eight. Oh, wait a minute. Jacob Cass is not giving up so easily tonight. Here comes Snyder now. Oh, big punch. You will see here. Back in the ring. Oh, that's probably a good thing to occur. For his finisher, what are we going to see here? Oh, the big super kick. Oh, wait a minute. Snyder Daniels manages the fight out of it. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. This could be the old school. Setting up on the top rope. Here it comes. And there it goes. Snyder Daniels is not finished with him yet, but neither is Jacob. Oh, good night, Irene. Wait a minute. We're going to see. Nope. Jacob did not finish that off. We're going to see here. Oh, my God. What a DDT off the ropes. Sandra Daniels may be down and out. No telling what may occur. We could have a new champion here tonight. Wait a minute. What the hell is he doing? Oh! Gave himself an opening for the Lariat. Jacob Cass. Sire Daniels had a rather rocky beginning, but now we're going to see rather aggressive assault here tonight all just for championship gold this could be not done yet what the hell is Snyder doing that just left him a big opening for Jacob Cass Oop, maybe not now going for the camel clutch tapping out but even though it's not a submission match this is a last man standing match. It does not count, unfortunately. Oh, Lord. Getting the fans on his side tonight. Back and forth now. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. Oh, what a sweet kick across the chest there. Could see the big lariat. Oh no. Super kick to the head. What is he doing? You could have just let him just stop him right there. He just seems to just lay on so much of an aggressive assault there. Seems he wants to keep the Cruiserweight Championship by any means necessary. The fans are on his side tonight, that's for sure. Although it's hard to believe that he's really keeping a good side of his face there. Especially when he's assaulting his opponent so viciously. Still fighting back. Here comes Jacob now, but he's now... Oh, wait a minute. Big reversal there. Beautiful though. What a spine buster. Jacob Cass is not lining up on the off on the offense. Jacob 
Yes, really keeping a good eye on his opponent. He, Snyder put him through hell, but he wants to make sure that he goes through the same amount of pain and punishment that he received. Uh-oh. We're going to see here. Oh, big chop across the chest there. Another moonsault. Try to finish it. Oh, beautiful maneuver there. Cass is definitely a ball of fire tonight. The question is, can Snyder Daniels extinguish that flame so easily? Oh, he missed that by a mile. Uh oh, what are we going to see here? Big trip there, and oh, not a splash. Oh, Daniels. Oh, another super kick. What the hell is he? Oh, whatever he was trying to do. Just gave Snyder. Oh, what a cutter! Well, throwing him out of the ring now. What's Jacob Cass going to do here? I guess he's just going to let his opponent rest outside the ring. The camera angle could be a little better, but that's uh, neither here nor there. for Snyder. Nope, he's still in this match. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh my God. A box move, but still managed to create some damage there. It's a miracle that Jacob didn't injure himself from that impact there. But still managing to keep the fans on his side tonight. It's hard to tell who's going to walk home with the championship. He's still in this matchup. Whoa, trying to get too close to the referee there. Got a little look that the referee didn't disqualify him right then and there. Get the pass. Uh oh. Stuck. Going for another old school maneuver here. Here it comes. And there it is. Jacob Cass is in a world of hurt here. There's no telling him whether or not he's going to be able to regain any momentum. And Snyder is not going to let him up so easily. What's he going to go for here? Momentum is not on his side tonight. Now he just seems to taunt his opponent further. Uh-oh. We're going to see here. Several shots and a big hurt from Rana there. More of a Frankenstein a little bit out of this. Seems as though Snyder's becoming a little more, getting a little off the edge here tonight. Really showing a different side of him than I expected. Dangerous DDT left a bloody imprint on Snyder's head there. What a pass is now. Uh -oh. And then up on some. Oh, what a drop kick to the back. The last man standing match turned into quite a disturbing debacle there. But Jacob is not willing to give up so easily. He wants the championship goal on his side. Certainly trying to get some momentum from the fans here. Keep himself intact. It's a little bit too much ego on his side, if you ask me. It's going to be it for Snyder. We have a new cruiserweight champion, and it's the icon, Jacob Cass. A tumultuous and really gruesome matchup between these two. All led to championship victory.
Jacob Kess now has a big target on his back as he has to go after several other opponents for the Cruiserweight Championship in the upcoming Boardwalk Brawl. There's no telling how far he's willing to go to keep the championship, but if he's able to keep it up the same way tonight, he'll have no problems keeping it at the Boardwalk, at the boardwalk Brawl. Until then, we have Andrea Wickeser going up against Stephanie Bowers of the Outlaws. Much like Andre, uh, <clears throat> much like Evelyn Campbell and Sheena McRae, these two are on opposite ends when it comes to their own wrestling maneuvers. But we'll see how far they're willing to go tonight. Here comes the anarchist herself. Andrea Wickeser definitely shows a lot of, <laughs> a lot of spunk and energy anytime she steps in the ring. The self-proclaimed anarchist of the women's division. Andrea definitely proved herself to be one of the craziest wallers. One well, of the craziest brawlers, but also showing a lot of interesting technical wrestling and even some high flying moves here. I don't know if anybody else who has that same amount of character and charisma on her side as much as Andrea Wickeser. Her opponent, on the other hand, is a different story. Bowers now. Trained under the watchful eye of the enforcer Roxanne, Stephanie Bowers proves herself to be not only a badass in the ring, but a badass anywhere else. There's no telling of how far these two are willing to go tonight, but the championship victory in the near future, I'm sure they're, doing, they're willing to do whatever it takes to go after the women's title in the near future. match up here. Stephanie did not waste any time there, but wait a minute. Andrea fought out of that pretty easily with a big German suplex to retaliate. Beautiful maneuver there. Now what we're going to see here. Oh, good lord. Stephanie Bowers now. Oh, big back pretty quick. Definitely not one to take lightly between these two. A big clothesline there. Now a reverse DDT. Wonderful drop there. They go for a big fist to the head there, but now Stephanie's giving her a raining fist there. They go for the suplex one more time. And there it is. Good lord. Go to the chest. A reduction on the head there, but Andrea is fighting out of it. There she goes. Oh, another reverse DDT in place. Definitely a lot of animosity in that one so far. We just finished up the Cruiserweight Championship match. I'm not sure if these two are willing to beat whatever this, those two are able to fight in. to the top rope. Call for his opponent. Call for her opponent, excuse me. 
Oh, trying to go for a big hit, but she missed that by a mile there. This there. Oh, right up against the back there. Back of her own. A sliding leg drop there. Could be going for two. Oh, missed that by a mile. Hit her ass pretty hard there. And with a oh, big drop kick. Oh, leg drop of her own there. A pretty heavy hit. Uh, pretty heavy hitter there. Heavy bars. Back one once more. Oh, for opponent to stand up once again. Big clothesline. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, big choke slam toss with the greatest of ease there. This could be it for Andrea. The pin now. Not done yet. Andrea now. Right back here. Oh, big hurt from Lana. Big kick to the back. Going off the ropes. Missed that sliding leg drop once more. Not careful. She can bust that ass pretty easily. Here comes Stephanie in. Oh, put it across the back there. Uh oh. We're going to see here. Oh, what an F5. Good night, Andrea. Andrea is not giving up so easily tonight. Big backbreaker there. Go seat nope. Andrea fights out of that one. Big slap to the face there. Go see big pump handle. Oh, what a suplex! Andrea setting up for a blockbuster. You can see it. There it is. Oh, missed that by a good mile. She wasn't uh, prepared on that one well enough. Hey, close line retaliate. Beautiful levels of attack there by Andrea Whipster there. And the pin now. Could be too soon though. Too damn soon. She managed to find out of it with the one pin. Uh, really? Oh, interesting. Oh, my God. I need to move that one. Andrea, going off the top rope. That thing's going to get her down. Oh, what a leg drop. All the way from the top rope. Andrea calling for a move here. What are going to see here? Uh oh. Gave too much of an opening there. Andy Bowers now. She's on the back. Boom! Hit across her chest there. Big pin now. What are we going to see here? Still too soon. Uh oh. We could see another F5 coming down. There she goes. Good night, Irene. Andrea. Nope, she's not done yet. Andrea Wickeser now. Uh oh, big choke slam. Toss against her opponent there. Good lord. One more time. A third F5 coming down. Oh, God almighty. Three F5s is what it took to take down the anarchist with ease. Big check of the ring column with, with Stephanie Bowers there. Despite all that she could do against her opponent, Andrea was not maintained well enough to stop her so easily here tonight. Stephanie Bowers is certainly proud of herself tonight. Only someone like her can show off a lot of disturbing, vicious attacks there.
Well, now we have our steel cage match between Pierce Reeves and the champion, Big Daddy Duke Mercer, with the ECWF Championship on the line tonight. There's no telling whether or not Reeves will be able to take home the championship or if Duke Mercer will keep that championship with him at all times. But we'll find out tonight. And this, we still have the Boardwalk Brawl this coming Sunday. Here comes the number one contender, still grasping a straw to try and go after the championship belt once more. You can't deny that Pierce Reeves puts everything on the line for championship goals, no matter where he goes in ECWF. But when it comes to the likes of Duke Mercer, he does not waste any time taking out his opponent with ease. But hey, if his partner, Morrison Culver, managed to gain championship gold, there's a chance that he might be able to go for it as well. We'll find to find out and see if they're willing to take everything at risk. In fact, there could be a chance for both championships to be on the line. In fact, even in a tag team match, but we'll find out soon enough. It'll be very interesting to see the tag team match for winner take all for both the World Heavyweight Championship and the Hardcore Championship. We'll find out later on tonight whether or not Pierce Reeves and Duke Mercer are going to be able to withstand that kind of a competition. But there's still the steel cage. Speaking of championships, here comes the champion now. Duke Mercer certainly loves his motorcycle. The question is, is he, does he hold the championship closer than his motorcycle? Or is it vice versa? Either way, Championship to gold is not something you want to take away so easily. Let's we'll see how far they're willing to take it. Only the likes of Duke Mercer. He wants to make sure that he has ample opportunity to keep that championship close to him. What, uh, what better way to make sure that a championship match was smooth tonight than a steel cage match? No inside, no outside interference going inside the ring tonight. We'll see how far both men are going to take the big risk of the championship belt tonight. Championship up for grabs tonight in a steel cage match. We'll see how far they're willing to take it. Introducing the challenger from Rapid City, South Dakota, weighing in at 335 pounds, the outsider, Pierce Reeves. A look of determination in his eyes there. Speaks volumes. And introducing the champion 
from Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing in at 420 pounds. He is the Eastern Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, Big Daddy Duke Mercer. Duke Mercer has a great amount of intention of keeping that championship with him to himself, but there's still tough competition against his opponent. Here's Reeves. Let's see how far they're willing to go tonight. Championship on the line in the steel cage match. Here we go. First time we've had a steel cage match here at ECWF. And while not the main event tonight, you can't deny that this type of matchup is not one to take lightly. The amount of damage these two are willing to go after each other for. The championship gold is definitely something worthwhile. Duke Mercer now showing a lot of determination to destroy his opponent. Turnbuckle after turnbuckle. Really letting on the offense here. One of the largest wrestlers here at ECWF. You can't deny that his... Uh-oh. You may see a, an escape outside the ring so easily. Pierce Reeves is not lending up so easily either. Oh! Slammed up against that fence there. Back in the ring. Uh oh. Big fireman's carry move here. What are we going to see? Oh! Right off the ropes. Apparently, they didn't hit the steel cage fence there. Countering that. Oh, big kick to the head. Big knee to the head. Excuse me. We're going to see here. Oh, I think I'm going to look like a spine buster, but Duke was ready for him. Man. No denying that. Roll up. Leg drop. Beautiful. Savage clothesline there. We'll go for a big flip. We'll go for another one. Nope. It's a spine. I good lord. Well, that spine must be for a reason. It's a matter of you don't break your bones. Kind of thing. Oh, Victory could be in reach for Duke Mercer. And Pierce Reeves is not letting up easily. He doesn't want Duke to go out so easily. Not buckle now. Oh, savage. Attack of that elbow. Oof. Back and forth between these two now. Come up, oh. Come up high in the air. Oh, crash down with authority. Now it's his turn to try to escape the cage. But it may not be so easy for him either. Luke Mercer getting back to his feet now. Wait a minute. Here's Reeves now on the top there. He couldn't make it out so easily. Luke Mercer heading up for him. Real savage game of cat and mouse here now. Here's Reeves on the offense. He's outside of the fence now. He could just finish it with one quick drop. And there it is. A new champion here in ECWF. Duke Mercer must not be pleased with himself. A new champion, two new champions in ECWF. Three if you include uh, the Cruiserweight Championship earlier. Here is your winner and new Eastern Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, The Outsider, Pierce. Pierce Reeves fought long and hard for that championship match. And while it may not be a spectacular match, there's a chance that both teams, between the power, uh, <clears throat> between the outlaws and the, uh, uh, <clears throat> the anarchists, they go after championship gold once more in a pay-per-view. We could make this a tag team matchup 
making it a winner-take-all match for both championship belts. But we'll see how far they want them to go. All right, now, we have our final match of the night between Elijah Davidson and the Anarchist Maniac of the Maniacs going head-to-head -to, -head to try and cap off their big rivalry for the championship, for the World Tag Team Championship in the upcoming Boardwalk Brawl. There's no telling whether or not the Maniacs and the Living Legends will be able to withstand so much pain and punishment. And there's no telling whether or not the Maniacs will be able to keep the World Tag Team titles in the upcoming pay-per-view. One thing's for certain... This summer is going to be heating up into a great amount of anarchy and anticipation. Participation in their eyes speaks volumes. While Snyder Daniels lost the Cruiserweight Championship, he could gain momentum by going after the tag team titles in the upcoming pay-per-view, the Boardwalk Brawl. But there's no telling whether or not both Elijah and Snyder will be able to regain the championship victory. Especially since the Maniacs proved to be a dominant force here at ECWF. Speaking of which, here they come now. The Maniacs are not one to take lightly here, folks. Especially when you meet this man, or rather this monster. Each of these Maniacs live up to their reputation. Between the Anarchist, the Professional Maniac, even the giant maniac. These three are like a well-oiled machine together. It's hard to determine whether or not these three will be able to keep championship gold for the boardwalk brawl. But it seems as though the giant maniac may be their ace in the hole half the time. their peculiar aspect of their wrestling physique. You can't deny that the Maniacs live up to their reputation as being World Tag Team Champions. Guys are getting a little too close to their, um, to their valet slash uh, tag team member. But remember folks, this is only a one-on-one -on -one match between the Anarchist and Elijah. Let's we'll see how far they're going to take their frustrations in this matchup. Here we go. Both the strongest wrestlers here in ECWF. One of the strongest, at least. Looks like... Oh! I just really pulled out of that one pretty easily. We're going to see here. Oh! Hesitating on the big gorilla press slam there, but... Whoa! Where the hell did he learn that one? That was a hell of a flip there. I never expected that from Elijah. I guess he picked up a few moves from his partner, Snyder. Big hitting. Big hit right across the back there. Oh, neck breaker. A lot of 
devastation here in that ring tonight. Big slamming fist to the head there. Oh, whoa, whoa. And a hurricane run into boots. Good lord. There's already so much animosity going to the ring. This is our main event of the night. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Now the professional trying to stir up trouble. Nope. He just let, his, let the opponent stand back up. Elijah is now in a world of trouble here. Oof. Oh, my Lord. Elijah Davidson receiving a great amount of offense by the anarchist there. Bouncing on the shoulder there. Oh, my Lord. Trying to get a control of this man, that's what it's hard to do so when the maniacs live up to their name as crazy sons of bitches. Oh, Back in the ring now. Getting momentum there, but gave them an opportunity for the anarchists to fight back. Oh, that fight dirty, too, Jesus. Big reversal there. Wonderful maneuver by Elijah. There was too much of an opportunity for Elijah to, uh, for the anarchist to fight back. And up and out. Get the neck and get to the head there. They're grabbing him so easily, but not so much. Uh oh. Big choke slam. Good Lord Almighty. We'll see here. Now he's fighting back now. Big side slam. Good God. He could finish it tonight. Oh, nope, he couldn't. Oh, big boot to the head. The miracle of life is not going to get out of this one. But he does so easily. Uh, press could be an F5 coming down. There it is. A little too close to the ropes there, though. The bottom lies a little more time to fight back. Fight back, he does. Now going for a camel clutch, looks like. Working on the anarchist growing up. We're between these two. They're not letting up on the offense here. But Elijah is not willing to give up so easily. Going for a big power slam. Boom! There it is. You're going to see here. Uh-oh. The Anarchist fights out of that one. Elijah could be in a world of trouble here. The Anarchist going for a top rope maneuver. Standing back up. What are we going to see here? Oh, stop the any kind of top rope maneuver there. Elijah fighting back. Big hit to that leg there. Oh, what a kick to the head. And a leg dropped the cap. He could have gone for a pin there. It is weight and everything. Oh, there he goes. One, two. Nope. Still too soon. See here. Oh, Fireman's carry. Give me the big spike. Oh, oh, good job. Here's the pin now. One, two, and he's still, uh, still fighting. Elijah Davidson is not happy about this. No grip. Oh, I go for Fireman's carry one more time, but yeah, I guess great rush from leg sweep there. Here. Gotta go for the big boot, but he misses twice. Oh, what a spear there. Some good as a great. Pitching on the shoulder now. The anarchist is in a world of trouble now. Make no mistake, that time to move hurts your shoulder for a while there. Yeah. Virginia 
those two. Uh oh, one more choke slam. Uh, the anarchist stops him right there. Uh, fourth now. Kicked in the gut. Ooh, good help with that. Oh my god. Good slap. Back on fourth now. Uh oh. You gotta see here. We're gonna go for here now. Snake eyes. Oh my god. Elijah's bleeding like a stuck pig now. Pin now. Too soon. See the Arkans got going on here now. Third buckle. Wailing on his opponent there. Shades of Cactus Jack showing right there. Finish it. There's every ample opportunity to stop it at home. There it is. You can see the F5. Oh no! Elijah stopped him just in time to dish out a little bit of his own punishment. Oh, there it is. This could be it for the anarchist. And that's it. A big win for the living legends tonight. animosity in that ring the maniacs despite everything could have tried to stop the referee from making that pin call uh, that pin call uh, pin fall there excuse me the pin count altogether here is your winner big time elisha davidson the maniacs are completely disappointed in that outcome but it could be a chance for them to understand what they are going to experience in the World Walk Brawl this coming Sunday. We'll see how far they're willing to go. The question is, can the Living Legends have another victory and regain the World Tag Team titles or will the Maniacs reign supreme? We'll find out at the World Walk Brawl this coming Sunday. So please, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, have a safe and happy summer.